So you guys, I'm going to be getting my brand name trademark. So the name that's going to be on my clothing is going to get trademarked. I'm about to show y'all how to do it. Not the business name because that's different from my brand name. The brand name. Let's go. Let me show y'all. Okay, you guys. So the first thing you want to do is go to www. Oh, there it is right there. www.wdfi.org. You're going to press enter. There it is, the Wisconsin Department of Financial Institution. Press that. Next, you guys, what we're going to do is, you see all these blue boxes across here? We are going to go to this one right here. Can y'all see that? Uh oh, y'all can't even see. We're going to go to this one right there. We don't want to click on it. We're going to go down to the drop box which they already have, you can see the drop box. And then we're gonna click on this right here. Trademark information and forms. So that's what we want. So let's press that, boom. Now you read over this. I'm gonna give y'all some time. Can y'all see? Cause I'm recording this from my phone. So. Hopefully y'all can see. Okay, now you wanna go to the um, big blue box. Let me see how long, let's go down. And then you wanna go to file online. So make sure y'all read all this stuff over. Make sure y'all can see. Make sure y'all read all this over. Boom, tell you a little bit about the trademark. If you need some help. Now I'm just gonna go to file online, right there. Boom. Now what you guys want to do is create a username and password i had already created my username and password so i'm going to hit login next what i want to do hold on next you want to go to registration then you want to go to proceed Now, you guys, what you want to do is enter your um, business name, your business address, and all that. So, Ash, I'm going to do. So, right here, you guys, you see entity. That's what you want to press. Or if you're a sole proprietor, whichever. Person As you to, don't enter uh, your business entity. name, you and enter your, your name. So you your guys, government. you write okay. the um, dates that you first used um, your your um, name. Then you want to classify it. So mine will be 25 because I'm going to be doing clothing. So whatever pertain to you. If you, um, I don't know, trying to. I don't know. Just read through these lists. The list and then see what, what pertains to you. I'm doing clothing. So mine will be 25. There you go. So you guys right here, if you want to upload uh, your logo and get that trademark too, you can do that too. But that's like a whole nother video I do. But yes, let's say like Nike. They got that little check mark sign. You, that's they, um, that's they logo that they'll upload you know what i'm saying so you upload that and do it that way but i'm not about to do that right now so i'm gonna skip past that and then enter my contact information in oh you guys i forgot to tell you make sure you sign and print your name which is the obvious and then for tight and for title you could put me i'm gonna put owner because i'm a hundred percent yes i'm um the owner so that's what i'm gonna put put
if you something else, that's what you will put. Part owner, I don't know what you're going to put, but I'm the owner. So, I'm going to put owner in this box right here. And then you're going to hit the continue. So, now, you guys, you can print your information off. Then you're going to have to get it notarized. And then you're going to have to um, send it to where it needs to go or um, email it how you or upload it, whatever it's called, um, back to them. So basically print it off and you'll be all done. Get it notarized and you end up like swim well. <laughs> but since I don't have a computer, I have a laptop, what I'm going to do is you can either save the application for later date, no, or you can add it to your cart. So I might do that. Or you can print it, download it to your, um, now you know what, I'm going to just add it to my cart. That's what I'm going to do. Hold on. So actually what I'm going to do, y'all, sorry, I'm going to press print. Boom. You know it ain't going to print. Then you see that download? I'm going to download my information. So download, click save, and then, hold on, I want y'all see my information now. Click save. Next, you go to your Gmail account, you guys. And then, you see that little plus sign right there? Hit compose. And then, so basically, I'm going to hit two. I'm going to email it to myself until I print it off and then the subject. So let me do that. I'm going to put right my email address in and then write the subject. So I press trademark. Um, next, I'm going to just select the file that I just upload. So I'm going to press that. Boom. It should be uploading. Sorry, y'all. It got my email address. So I'm just not about to show you all that. And then you will hit send. You'll press send. And then your email will be, hold on, what does it say? Oh, so now I got to free up some space. Okay. So basically, you'll have press send. And then when you get to a computer, you want to print out the information, get it notarized, and then upload it to the people who you need it to upload. That's all, you guys. Peace. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great and wonderful day. Have the day you deserve. Peace. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Hit that like button and comment below on what you want to watch. Peace.